So there's one specific phone out there that I keep thinking about that essentially, in my opinion, if Samsung were to just go ahead and kind of re-release this phone, but at a cheaper price tag, I think this phone could end up selling pretty well. And I can't believe, in my opinion, how cheap this Samsung phone has actually gotten because it's actually still a very decent phone I'd recommend buying. And this specific phone is the Samsung Galaxy S21. This is the standard S21, not the FE version. And one thing I can definitely tell you is when this phone first came out in 2021, I wasn't even that big of a fan of it. I felt like it was like a very, very like weird phone Samsung made, especially with the weirder things they've done. But since then, this phone has actually, in my opinion, has gotten that much better of a device. And I think as of now, it sits in a really, really good spot of being a fairly cheap phone, but still being a very strong phone that I would recommend a majority of people to buy. So first of all, the display on this thing is still fairly good. It's still a very decent display, 6.2 inch dynamic AMOLED display. It's definitely gotten better displays like on the newer phones since then, but I think it's still a very good looking phone. And nonetheless, if you're planning on buying something like this, it's still a very decent phone I'd recommend buying because of its display. It's 120 hertz, and for the near future, it's still actually a pretty good looking phone. You get a USB-C on the bottom with Samsung DeX. The problem is the back is a plastic back, but I don't even think that's that big of a deal anymore. You can throw a case on it, and because this thing is significantly cheaper than what it used to be, I think it actually is a decent deal as of now because of its you know price tag. And the price of this thing, get this, you can probably buy these things for less than $250. I hope you might be able to even find this thing for less than $200 in the used market. Right now on Amazon, they're about $230 something dollars, which is crazy. That is a very cheap price to pay for a phone and of a phone of this caliber. So that in and of itself is crazy, but the performance of this phone is still very good. You're still getting a phone from this device that is still top tier in terms of performance. You have that Qualcomm Snapdragon 888 chipset, you still have 8 gigabytes of RAM, and you're still getting you know, a phone that is still a very, very powerful device when it comes down to it. It's not a perfect phone. You know, Samsung did not release a perfect phone with this device, but they made a very good phone and a very decent priced one at that. So what I will tell you is, is that the Samsung Galaxy S21, in my opinion, is still a phone I would recommend a majority of people to buy. It may not be the perfect phone out there, and it may not be the first phone I'd recommend people to buy, but it is still a very cheap Samsung phone that still is getting software updates, that still has a lot of power, and I would still recommend buying it for sure. So in terms of that, that kind of covers it up there. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.